Okay, so this will be our last introductory video. Um, the first section in the textbook does go on from here and talk about graphical solutions and numerical solutions. So it talks about slope fields, talks about Euler's method. Uh, there's a lot of interesting content there. Uh, for the videos, I think it's going to have to wait until we're set up maybe somewhere where we can do things um, with some uh, you know, computer software handy. We'll do it through a screencast um, rather than on the light board because we'll, we'll want to be able to calculate those numbers easily. And you probably don't want to stand here watching me read numbers off a calculator and writing them on the board. So we'll look for other ways to deliver those um, in the future. Now, here's another verification problem. Uh, this time, of course, you, we haven't been given y, right? y is not given as a function of x. We have an implicit equation. But we, know, we know how to solve implicit equations, right? This is, just, this is simply an implicit differentiation problem. From here, take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, right? Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of y squared is, is 2y, right? But we're taking the derivative with respect to x, so we get a y prime. On the other side, the derivative of c times y is c times y prime. Okay, so collect terms. 2x is equal to cy prime minus 2y, y prime. Factor out that y prime. Okay, we get c minus 2y times y prime. Okay, so y prime, we get uh, 2x over c minus 2y. Okay. All right. Well, what do we do with that? Is, it, is that the same as this? I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't look the same, does it? It looks, looks rather different. Um, so now we have to think, how do we, how do we solve that? Um, x squared minus y squared. Can we, can, we, can we manipulate things? Can we get this to work? Um, so let's see, what can we do? Um, we could try to eliminate that constant c. Maybe that's a way to go. Um, why not? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Uh, c is 1 over y times x squared plus y squared. Okay. So if I did uh, c minus 2y, well, that would give me 1 over y times x squared plus y squared minus 2y. Um, 1 over y. If we factor it, multiply top and bottom by y here. Take the x squared plus y squared minus, so 2y squared over y, right? Minus 2y squared. Ah, interesting. This becomes x squared minus y squared over y. So this is 2x divided by 1 over y times x squared minus y squared. Multiply top and bottom by y. We get 2xy over x squared minus y squared, which is what we were supposed to get. All right. Hooray. Um, now, for this to work, of course, y can't be 0 because of the 1 over y. So you can come back and you can always ask, well, what happens if, if y is equal to 0? Um, well, if y is equal to 0, x is equal to 0. I mean, there's a point solution there. Um, and so actually, y equals 0 is a separate solution to this equation, right? Um, but it doesn't fit um, here. right? It, it doesn't fit this one. Actually, does y equals 0 even fit this equation, right? If y is 0. Um, well, then y prime has to be 0. Yeah, y is identically 0. Can, can make it work, but it doesn't fit this family. Okay? Because um, if, if, if x and y are both 0, then this is not even defined, right? Because you'd be dividing by 0. We don't want that to happen. Okay? So you, sometimes you'd have to pay attention to these issues of, of domain. Um, where is y actually defined, right? For which values of x. But we manipulate. Now, um, Maybe not the only way you could solve this one. 
I haven't even checked to see if this is how they do it in the book. I copied down the question. I didn't look at the solution yet. Um, but it gets us there, right? Uh, there's lots of different ways that you might manipulate this particular problem algebraically to arrive and verify that you have the solution. We found one, so we're happy. <laughs>